Hi there folks, welcome to Pandalite Gaming, I'm your host Cody, and today we are getting into the final suggestion for Spooky Month. This suggestion is from uh, Jelly, I will try and remember to link her Twitch channel uh, in the description below if you'd like to check her out. She's a streamer and a good friend of mine. Uh, this is Darkwood. Yeah, she put all of her suggestions into this game. I'm gonna be pretty honest, I don't think this is gonna win. I'm, I'm not trying to be rude. I've seen, I'm not going into this blind. One, I have seen this game been played. Uh, not all the way through, not like a ton of details about it, but I have seen bits and pieces, and this is more of a survival horror game uh, versus like a horror horror game. Um, but I am very intrigued to play this game. Uh, we are doing eight hours worth of gameplay for the competition for this game. And I mean, I've been surprised before, so who knows? Um, but uh, I am intrigued to play this game. I am kind of excited to play this game because I've wanted to for quite a while. Um, and yeah, this first episode is probably going to be a little shorter than the other three. Uh, excuse me. Um, just because... Well, just because I kind of want to get in, get a feel for the game, get the basic story stuff out of the way, and then we'll we'll dig more into it in uh, following episodes. These are probably going to be a little more broken up than the rest of the the uh, games that were in the uh, in the competition during this last month. Um, just because there, I, I feel like there is going to be a fair bit of exploring and grind and maybe not a ton of commentary, but we, again, we'll see. Let's just, we're going to get into it. Um, so yeah, there's three different difficulties. There's normal, hard, and nightmare. Normal, when dying, you drop half your equipment and you have unlimited lives. That's normal. Hard, you have four lives. Uh, and after you still drop half your equipment when you die, you have four lives. After that, it's game over. Nightmare, one one life. That's it. We're doing normal. Uh, we're not going to skip the uh, prologue. Indiegogo content. Cool, but immersion breaking. Con Hold on. Hold on. What is this? Okay, so after looking into it, uh, apparently the Indiegogo content is stuff that's supposed to be for backers. Um, it includes like a box that you could open that gives you some like basic starting stuff. And then uh, a possibility of like a dream that takes you to the dev's office, I guess. Uh, we're going to enable it. Mostly because I want that box and I found the code to said box online. Haha. Um... Which is kind of cheaty, I know, but it, it I don't think it's anything particularly special and yeah, I don't know, it might make the, the game a little easier. I'm to understand this game is actually pretty goddamn hard, so yeah, we're going to enable it and maybe we'll see a cool dream. I don't know. You're playing, playing a challenging and unforgiving, <clears throat> excuse me, unforgiving game. Do not be led by the hand, respect the woods, be patient, focus. Um, I don't think there's a time limit on this game. I know it gets a little harder as time goes on, but I think there's a cap to that. Uh, yeah. And I think the map is procedurally generated, so I can't even really cheat that way. For log. I see hatred and fear in their eyes. As if I was responsible for spreading disease. As if I were the source of all the misery plaguing this land. I have nowhere to hide from them, nowhere to run. The woods have closed us off from the outside world. We are all doomed. I hate when games do this fade to white thing. It usually breaks my shit. 
or it often breaks my shit. Oh, notepad. Okay, should I take the pills? I'm gonna leave the pills. Barricaded window, alcohol distiller, homemade device for producing moonshine. Um. Generator is almost out of juice. I need to fill, uh, find a full gasoline can. I saw a broken tractor to the east. Maybe I could find gasoline there. Um, so I do know that we don't play this character for very long. My tools, they haven't been sterilized for years. Local patients can't be helped anyway. Uh, we're playing this character only for the prologue. You can only select and interact with objects within your reach. The interaction range is indicated by the color changing cursor. My radio has been silent for years, although sometimes I think I can hear voices through the static. I'll open the front door to my house with this. Okay, I'll keep that on me. I'll leave the rest. I best not enter this room right now. The lock is gin. I can open it with a lock pick. Not gonna worry about that right now. I would rather not open it. I spent too much time to lock him in there. Okay. I think we eventually spawn back in this house. You know, I could be wrong. I don't know. Uh yes, with a plus sign, you can hold your left mouse button to Ah, oh, wait, no, no, let's do it. Use key. There we go. I feel like I forgot to take something with me. Like, like what? Like everything? What am I missing? Okay. Cool. My old useless medical bag, my old Zenit camera. Okay. My bed, I've just woken up. Oh. That doesn't need to be on if we're trying to save gas. My medical book. Quickly produce moonshine, uh, barely filtered. I don't think I need to take stuff with me. I feel like I forgot. Fine, 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 fine. Already. Can I shift click? Okay. We will take everything. We will take the entirety of all of it. Don't know why. Don't care why. My dog, I don't think he's gonna make it. I should end his suffering. Uh, it used to be a luxury, but since uh, all the access roads have been devoured by the woods, it became a useless pile of trash. People's Tribune. Can't read that. Um... I think there's an axe somewhere. Creepy. I knew about the dog. I don't know what to say about the dog. That's uh, not very nice. I forget where the axe is. Oh, there it is. How did I miss that so many times? There we go. Um, oh god. I'm gonna get a reputation for this, and I don't want it. Edit in Cody, put something nice here instead. Man, that thing headed in code he showed you was 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 nice. That was that was a nice thing.
These are growing too fast. So I won't be able to cut them down uh, fast enough. Snare traps. I must be careful. The wood's full of them. Pick it up. Pick a cow. Pick a bone. Sure. Left shift to run. Yes, I'm aware. Uh, location path found. Uh, so there is, like, a self-made map. Your position on the map is not marked. Uh, when you discover a new location, it will be added to your map. The Loca location you are currently in is indicated in red. In order not to get lost, you need to learn how to determine your position relative to the discovered locations and landmarks. Hello? Oh, I didn't need to do that. Woods had devoured all the roads that connected us to the outside world. No one is able to pass through this thicket. Mm -hmm. Wait, what did it say? To immediately transfer items what? Parts of the woods are dark. I should craft a torch. How did I get empty? But did, did it take alcohol? It did take alcohol. Okay. Fence here. I guess we'll go over the fence. And in house. Okay. Why did I take everything with me? In a few days, I'll be completely absorbed. Okay. We hate to see it. We hate to see it. I can't take it. Why did I take everything with me? Why did I take everything with me? Again, I guess it doesn't really matter. Yeah, and then we find this dude. I think this one is still breathing. carrying a key and some journal. I can't see that. Uh, since he managed to sneak in here, he must know how to get out. Of course he won't help me voluntarily. But that... is of no importance. I turned off dynamic resolution because I thought maybe it would help with the ultra wide. I need to turn it back on. I need to get out of this accursed forest. You hear me, rat? Show me how, and I will let you go. I sometimes hear her voice. She's calling me. Calling me to return home. Is this not my home? Where is the exit? Where? Where? Show me where! Wah. <laughs> I'll take that. I'll kill you like a dog if I have to. Well, that's unfortunate phrasing, my dude. But also, I'm no longer tied up. You know this, right? I'm, I'm this dude now. Just in case he hadn't caught on. That fucker stole my key. Fucker. Uh... Can't I take one of these legs? 
Entry to a small cellar, maybe the pantry. Locked, I could open it with a lockpick. Do I have a lockpick? No. And I need what looks like wire for lockpick. Look at a pick. Pick at a dock. Hold on. Dynamic resolution, yes. Okay. Close. Ah, look at a pick. I'm hurt. I could use these rags to craft some bandages and heal myself. Boop. And boop. Uh, and then I just hold this and use lockpick. Unlocked! Ah, shovel. It's heavy, but it has a good reach and a flashlight. So what was what was it I was supposed to use? I don't know. Barricade's too strong to dismantle. I motherfucking disagree. I dismantle it now? No? I was no longer Ooh, I'm out of weapon. Okay. Hey, syringe. I got. I got that. I, I got that. Cool. Doorway repair. Radio. This is interesting. <laughs> we don't love to hear it. Metal table with leather straps on it. Strapped on it. Oh, if I didn't know what was gonna happen, I'd be so freaked out. I kinda wish I didn't know what was gonna happen. Table leg, there it is. Put that there. And gasoline. Can I, should I bother? Refill a generator, equip a gasoline tank. Okay. Uh, three. Oh, wait. I'll hold right. Four eight nine two. Four. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, my God. Eight. Oh, my God. I'm so bad at this. Oh my god. I'm not trying. I'm really not. Okay. Good. Is that not the doctor? No, this is the dude the doctor locked up. That's right. Dead man. Search. Plastic chick. Cool. Hit. Hit. And how do you want to get out now? Do you think you can manage all by yourself? Is that the doctor? Hear it?
dig it though. I'm kind of about it. Chapter one. Hey, I'm this guy, but I'm in a different home. Actually, this isn't even the setup I'm used to. How's it warm that's emanating from the oven? I can sense a strange yet familiar scent. It's the smell of the protective substance, which gives me relative safety after dark. The vapors rising from the huge cauldron are distributed all over the house via long pipes. As long as I remain inside my hideout, I have a chance of surviving the night. Look at the weird bottle. The label on the bottle says, Staying out of the reach of protected substance after nightfall results in immediate death in 99 out of 100 cases. It is advised to evenly spread the gas inside the sleeping area. Warning, even a properly prepared substance does not guarantee 100% safety. Remain vigilant. It is recommended to stay in well-lit indoor areas in order to minimize the risk. Then the oven... When I arrived here a couple days ago, the oven was basically prepared. I just needed to light it up to ensure my safety at night. This cottage must have uh, must have been one of our hideouts. The inhabitants of these woods do not need to inhale. Inhabitants of these woods do not need to inhale this revolting gas. Look inside the pot. A small empty cast iron pot. I haven't used it yet. I haven't felt any hunger or thirst since the accident a few days ago. I can't stop thinking about one thing. These mushrooms, these red pulsating mushrooms, they look so tasty. Maybe this pot will serve use or will prove useful after all. Cook. I have nothing to cook. Okay. Bear trap under the window is still open. It looks like this night was exceptionally uneventful. Okay, so we got mushroom book. Uses a mushroom in the household. This looks like Polish, yeah? Alcohol, rope, bottle. We'll, we'll just take a few things. This to bed. Can I? So I don't know how. Necessary it is to barricade. The Can I move the bed? No. Okay. Oh, okay. So there is still a fucking hole in this house. Like there. So the the person I've seen picture of a road. The road home. Uh, I've seen Markiplier play this. Uh, I haven't watched his playthrough all the way. Yesterday I barricaded one of the windows. If you want to stay here for some time, uh, if I want to, I should do the same with the other windows. Yeah. Uh, and this has storage, so I'm just going to go ahead and put stuff in there. Board with nails. I need board. Hey, it's the mushrooms that he was talking about. Got it. Odd looking mushroom. Gross. Well, filled. Four boards. Okay, I don't know what I need. I don't need water, do I? Container search. Oh, this is okay. This is the thing. This is the thing. Two nine one nine. Two. Wait, what? Nine. One. Nine. Got it. So, single shot. Wow, okay. There was more than a few things in here. That doesn't sound good. Exploding barrel explodes when contact, uh, when in contact with fire or hit by uh, gunfire. 35 nails, 2 rope, fabric, 10, 10 boards, 2 things of gasoline, scrap metal, single shot pistol. Did I say knife? There's a knife. Okay. So yeah, glad I did that, honestly. Did I search this? I guess I did. Oh wait, no. that was the workbench. I'm dumb. Well, we cook. So eventually those give us perks.
it's gonna be important that that's barricaded. Workbench. We're just gonna put most of these things away. Well, a crude weapon. I wish it said, like, how much it did. Chain trap. Oh, for some reason, I was picturing, like, a bear trap on a chain that you, like, play too much D&D. Or not enough. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> um, hot bar upgrade. Oh. I just need more string for that. I kind of want to do board with nails. But I do have a knife. I think I'm just going to keep the knife. Uh, middle mouse button. Oh, oh. Oh. Oh, there's nothing there. I need an axe. I'm assuming an axe. Let's look around our immediate area real quick. Let's see if we can't find an axe or something. Oh, I barricaded this window. Okay, I broke the knife immediately by hitting it on a tree like a dummy. Okay, we got bored with nails. We're fine. Okay, that dog did not seem very friendly, but it is also gone. So there's that going for us. I'm gonna harvest these mushrooms. Oh, I should grab that. I'll have to remember to grab. Generator's half empty, contains enough gasoline for one more night. I should find a full can in the house above the underground entrance. Underground entrance. Okay. Uh, so I think like each one of those ticks is a night. I can corpse. I'll take it. Thanks. Didn't I just do this? Did I not do this? Did I not finish it? Got it. What's this? That. What's this? That. What's this? Poisonous mushrooms. Don't eat those. No cooker. The poison mushrooms. So we already have two cans of gasoline, which is nice. Which is nice. We'd love to see it. This is locked. I could open it with a lockpick. Let me grab one of those right this second. Now I need string, which I think I have that. Ah, yeah. Well, I'm not long for this world. Oh, thank you. Thank you for not, like, killing me outright. Preesh. Big preesh. Hey, a trap! Wait, what? Why did... Smartest of my ideas, but it's working. But no, yet. No. Thank you. Okay, so I no longer have a weapon. I need to get 
back to the house, unfortunately. I'm pretty dumb. I'm pretty, I'm pretty dumb. I mean, I killed an elk with a board with some nails on it. So I might be dumb. God damn, am I strong. What's it take to repair? Nails and boards and stuff. Um, okay, so repair item. We're gonna repair that. Yikes. Okay. Um, can we make a lockpick? No, I don't have any of that. Uh, we have a torch. We're gonna put some of this stuff away. We're gonna go over here to cook up our uh, mushroom. Nice. All them shrooms. And we're gonna go back out. Because uh, I still wanna find that gasoline for the night. And we, we'll probably go through the night and then we'll call it there. I don't know when night is. It still kind of looks like day to me. Right. But I also don't really know what night looks like. So I can't believe that the first woodland animal I see, I'm like, I'm going to kill you. Take your antlers. Not your meat. But your antlers. Wait. Hmm. Another landmark would be, like, appreciated. No. I might be, like, here-ish. It's hard to tell, man. Oh, hey, a body. Nice. Oh, 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 here we go, here we go. Oh, I don't step in that. This is the house. Find the entrance to the underground here. Why don't I take the trap? I just get scrap metal. I, I wanted trap. Take that. I mean, I'll take the scrap metal, I guess. That was close. Mushrooms! Mushrooms! Backpack. Consumable. Does it give health? I mentioned not wanting, uh, what's it called? Hey, gas. Pack cigarettes. Okay. Can't take that, I guess. Mushrooms. I mentioned not wanting food, so. So that's the underground entrance. It says examine. Entrance to the underground tunnels. I don't want to go there. I'm actually getting a little concerned about how much tea I just left. I don't really have a way to know. Like, trying to see what all is interactable, you know? I didn't have to hop that. There was no particular reason I had to do that. Bunny! What? Oh. Hi. Oh. 
Hi. I can smell your stench from far away, meat. I know this guy isn't, like, actually an enemy. Even from far, I can smell your putrid stench. Be glad I don't have an appetite for carcasses, meat. The figure uh, hides his face under the hood. Not that well. It smells of wet soil and fur. <clears throat> I know what you're after. I can help you reclaim what you've lost. If you help me attend to a certain matter, what do you say, comrade? As he leans towards me, I can hear him giggling under the hood. I knew it would interest you. Before we make a deal, I need you to prove that you can do the job. I've no time for weaklings, meat. You follow? Show me what you're made of. Get, get through to the silent forest. You think it's so easy? If I were you, I would prepare myself well before setting out. When you get there, you'll find me in this spot. Remember it. Wolf grabs my map and scribbles something on it. The likes of you always cr crawl back to me. Show item. Plastic chick. Beautiful item. Perfect for a church fair. What's this you, uh, What's that you've got there? Wolf snatches the photograph from your hand, studies it carefully. Finally, he snorts, his thick yellow spit landing on the... Gross. Photo. Haha, <laughs> this road doesn't exist anymore. Overgrown with trees, like all the other ones. Wolf throws the photo on the, uh, to the ground. Better forget about the road home meet. Around here, all the roads lead to nowhere. Gossip! If I were you, I wouldn't venture too far from here. Unless you got bored of your lousy life, meet. Only a few returned from the dense woods, and those who made it back were not able to share their happy stories. <laughs> Gossip! I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend wandering around these woods at night. It would mean certain death for you, meet. Better hide in that hideout of yours before dark, and pray for the morning light. Gossip! I'd avoid getting into trouble if I were you, meet. Or at least until you get a decent weapon. Okay, that's all the gossip. Trade. Do I want to... I kind of want to trade him bread. It's only worth 15, though. Hmm. Handgun frame, weapon parts... Red egg? Uh, ooh, a wire would be nice. Metal pipe, chain. I don't... I don't need... no. Bleh, bleh. I don't know what I'm going to need, so I don't know what I want to take. I definitely don't want to sell mushrooms. I think the things in red he won't buy. Maybe? Whatever. Uh, okay, bye. Bye, Wolfman. Anyway, so we're here. Yeah, so we need to go, like, this way. We we went around a good ways. Um, I say we spend the rest of the day... Uh, boarding up the house. I hope there's a stamina upgrade. Oh, hey. I don't remember this being here. I'll take it. Thanks. Yeah, I say we spend the rest of the day boarding up the house. Kind of dealing with our stuffs. Dog's back. Hold on. I wish he wouldn't, Doggo. Quite frankly, I wish he wouldn't. Oh, I have a lockpick. When did I get a lockpick? Oh, I'm sorry. It's a predator. It's in my area. 
I need to not have to deal with this. Did I not? Oh, no, I did. That was my crafting menu. I got confused. So if I go to two and then right click. So I'm just going to go ahead and empty this in here, right? Because we have two more. Tank is empty. Okay, that's looking... That's looking darkish. I don't know how much time we have. Don't imagine it's much. Almost there. Like one or two more mushrooms. Oh, 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 oh. Boards. Uh, I have some nails. I'll get more nails. Uh, I, I was gonna go back for the, the, the thing. Not gonna worry about it. Um, let's see. So, what I kinda wanna do... If I wanna hold up here... There's, the, there's a trap there, so yeah. I want to barricade this. Okay, it's getting dark. So we're going to come over here and switch this on. Can I switch this light off? Um, I kind of want to switch this light off. I'll leave it on just in case we need it. Don't think we have any more boards or wood of any kind. Gonna put the nails back. Gonna put the meat in here. And, uh, yeah. Gonna close that. Here's, here's the thought, right? Here's the thought. It's starting to, it's starting to look dark. I don't know how much time we have. Right? Let me turn that off. Doesn't look like we have time. Doesn't look like we have time. Is there a crouch? Oh! Control, like... Watch out. Watch out. And I equip this. Oh yeah, that's looking night timey to me. I think we, we, yeah, I think we got here at a good time, and we're just gonna, well, that corner's probably not a good corner, right? Maybe we should turn it on. Maybe we should turn it on. I mean, it's a, it, it's a light. It's a light, you know? I don't know. I don't know. I know nothing. Just call me Jon Snow. This is a fucking stupid joke. <laughs> Sorry. I think we timed that well, though. I think that was a good time to turn the generator on. I think we, uh... I think we got that good. And, uh... Yeah. Yeah. So we're here now. I can go into the other room if I need to have to if I don't need to. For those of you not wearing headphones, there's footsteps outside. Or there were, there were a couple steps outside. Um, so I'm to understand, like, there might be some stuffs that, uh, that can attack you in the dark. I'm not 100% sure. I don't know. Don't do that. Don't do that. But, you know, better to have the light on than off, I think. Spooky. 
All the spooks. Excuse you? Okay. You know, I did say I didn't think this game would win, and I still don't think it will. Like, you're, you're getting a kind of an idea of it right now. But, um... I also thought Alien Isolation wasn't really going to be that scary. I, I honestly was like, I've seen this played before. It's not that bad. Oh my god. I know Jelly tried to, uh... <clears throat> excuse me. I know Jelly tried to uh, recommend it for Spooky Month, but unfortunately I was already playing it, so it wouldn't, really, wouldn't have really made sense, but that would have won. From, like, like Roma is very much in, in, in the running, uh, Detention very much in the running, Blair Witch, I haven't gotten far enough into it to really say one way or the other. Um, Maybe Amnesia, and maybe a uh, Mortuary Assistant. But but Alien Isolation would have wiped all of them out. Oh my god, that game is terrifying. I hated every second of... Well, almost every second of having to play that game. There was that part with there was just the robots. That wasn't so bad, but... I'm just riffing right now. I'm just trying to fill time. I guess I don't have to, but like I kind of want you guys to see what the uh, the nighttime is about. Yeah, no. I think the other nights are going to be a little more like action packed. I think like the first two nights are chill, and then you start getting getting shit. I definitely want to be in a better position than I currently am in when that happens. Oh, if you can hear the, the like, I don't know, nice sound kind of coming through now, I think that's telling you you've made it through the night, so. Or you've almost made it through the night. Yep, and starting to get light out. A man roughly my size is standing before me. I can barely make out his disturbingly familiar features through the matte visor of his helmet. A massive helmet is covering, uh, is covered with an old sack and seems to be an integral part of their unnaturally pale, pale body. I remember him. He's the one who rescued me from the doctor's house. The man reaches out to me with his black hand. It's covered in charcoal. There's something written on his warm, uh, worn woolen glove. We need to stick together, brother. His lips are moving, but all sounds are drowned inside his helmet. He shrugs and takes the huge sack off his back and drops it to the ground, revealing its contents. What do you... Real quick, just... You have mushroom? Okay. We're not going to do this right this second. Let it save. Okay. Um, we are... Stop the timer. We are at... Uh, let me let me open up OBS so I can see what I'm showing you. Um, we are at 49 minutes 38 seconds, so we'll call that 49 minutes. I will owe you an extra hour 10 on the next one, Jelly. But this is where we're gonna, where we're gonna call it, um, just so I can get this video up quickly. And then you know, I I, I like it the the first episode to kind of be like a we're getting into it versus we're like really delving deep uh i think it paces a little better that way but anyway but yeah so this is darkwood this is a really cool game um i like some of the con i like the concepts i like the mechanics well in theory i like the mechanics in practice they're they're a little janky but i'm getting used to them um i've seen 
like I said, Markiplier playlist, so I've been interested in it for years now, but uh, I'm, I'm glad to be finally getting into it, and even if this doesn't win the competition, honestly, Jelly, I appreciate you for uh, for recommending it, just like I appreciate Carlos for Silt and Fit for In Sound Mind. There's no way those games are going to win, but I appreciate you recommending them, and, uh, and apparently you knew they weren't going to win, so. <laughs> but yeah, anyway. Thank you all so much for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more content just like it. But I hope you have an amazing day. Bye-bye. I'm all over the place today. <laughs> <laughs>